finding a taxi ride was kind of miserable. We actually had to negotiate quite a bit, had quite a few people charge, trying to charge us way too much. I mean, they were wanting almost $25 per person, you know, for a 20-minute ride. They acted like it was just across the country to ride over here to Cable Beach. We ended up, I think, paying about 10 or 15 per person, I think $50 for each way. But it would really be nice if they got together and actually figured out a price, all of them together, that could make this easier for tourists. So I'm here at Cable Beach. Weather's not the best. Looks like they had a lot of rain last night. It's not going to be as clear as normal, but also the problem with this beach is right here. Jet skier. So even if I saw a head of coral out here, I really wouldn't be able to get to it. So I'm going to be swimming in all this palm grass. Not my cup of tea. I'm going to walk up there to where that construction is down in the corner see if there's anything up that way. Talk to you in a bit. Yeah, guys, still looking. You see all these buoys everywhere? You have no idea where you can swim, what's safe, what's not safe. And I'm sure right over there by that little island there, there's some beautiful corals, but not worth risking your life over. So, in my opinion, Cable Beach is a bust, an absolute bust for if you're really wanting to get some good snorkeling in. I would not recommend this beach for snorkelers pretty much at all, and in, even in the most perfect of circumstances. Beautiful to lay on the beach though if you're wanting that kind of uh, trip, but not for me. Cable Beach really had some beautiful sand and the water was still really pretty. And if you're really into, let's say, water sports, this might be a great beach for you if you're wanting to rent some jet skis and go out there doing some parasailing. But for snorkeling, not so much. For swimming and beginners, I can say it's still probably a pretty cool spot to visit, but really not one that I would like to go back and just swim over Congress. This is the area that I walked. You can see where I walked from way down in Cable Beach all the way around the corner all the way to the other side and really that whole area there wasn't a whole lot of promising areas a lot of conch grass and most of the conch grass was in those buoy areas where you could swim so a nice area if you just want to swim over some conch grass but not really what I was looking for now in this photo you can see where I started which is the red arrow to the right and I ended up right over there where the red arrow to the left is and then kind of walked back that island in the middle was about the most promising spot I saw that, you know, would be okay to snorkel and it might be kind of, kind of some decent stuff to see. However, that entire area, you couldn't even tell where to swim out because of uh, all the water sports and, and the buoys that were marking channels for the, for the boats to come back in. So unless you know the area, unless you have a dive flag or something, you know, to, to protect you, this is not a great area to snorkel. So we're back on our ship here in the beautiful Nassau, Bahamas. Today was a bus, guys. I didn't really get in the water. I went to Cable Beach. I tried. I looked for reef, but nothing that you really feel safe with. Not for you know going from the beach and being able to snorkel out. So I will be back here in about a month. Hopefully, then I can find a better beach, some more uh, stuff to tell you, and some better places to snorkel. Back in Nassau, guys, trying to head to a new beach. We're gonna see what we can find at the beach. This time it was just myself and Justine going to Love Beach. We didn't have four people, just two. And the same deal with the taxi rides. I mean, everyone was trying to hit us up for way too much money. They were trying to charge $100, $70. It's only 30 minutes away. They acted like, goodness gracious, you're going across the country. Finally, we met a taxi driver named Frankie Bahama. And I wish I still had his number because he came over there and he got it to us for $50. said, come on, let's just go. So we paid $50 each way. Um, he was a great guy and would love to see him again. Alright guys, so we finally made it to Love Beach. This is what it's about right here. We came in, they charge you $5 a piece to come and use the facilities here. They just drop you off, the taxi driver will drop you off, but it's kind of cool because you feel safe right in there. You can come out and use the beach. The sand is super soft and pretty. Looks like we will have a little bit of good snorkeling. We're going to get out here and try it out and check out all this rock and uh, see what we see out there. Hopefully going to be some 
some good coral heads. Don't know if it's all alive yet or not, so we're about to check it out. This was one of my first underwater filming experiences, and I still filmed this with my camera with just a waterproof case. It at least still came out pretty clear, which was good in this one, and later on my case started making it where it just my camera would not focus, but uh, it did not catch some of the colors that I hoped it would, and uh, in the future, like you'll see some of my videos, I'm starting to get better. Now I do have a GoPro and some better equipment. Love Beach really did have a lot of cool rock formations and different areas to swim through. Uh, not as many live heads of coral and things like that, but some really cool areas. And I, I know I didn't even touch this uh, area by snorkeling around here. But it was a lot of fun to see the structure and to go around all these areas that I went through. Justine did get in the water on this one and she filmed me a little bit. So cool. Just right around that rocky area right at the very start within that little uh, bay area. I think Tusa should uh, sponsor me. I don't know what you guys think, but I'm wearing Tusa fins. Love them. They should get me some of the white fins instead of the blue ones. Then I can sport some Tusa. We started off snorkeling right there in area number one. This is also one of the most amazing photo shoots if you got the perfect weather like we did. We then traveled over to number two and that's where Justine filmed me in both of those as well. Number three and number four, that's where a lot of these rock formations were um, and even going around there into number five. Once I got over to number six, I ran into a little more of the conch grass on some rocks and it wasn't as pretty. I wish I could have explored a little further to the left there, as you can see, there might have been some reef structure that might have been really pretty right out there. Um, and then if you look in this next film, 
I, I took this screenshot and I wanted to go out here the area where I say not explored that could be a really nice reef but at the time I didn't have a dive flag and I didn't want to travel out there that far to number that reef and the next one out there you know boats are, could be crossing there even though I didn't see any at the time this wasn't like a huge traffic area I just wanted to be safe I would like to come back here at some point though and try out and to test out to see if those are some really good reefs to explore this is such a beautiful beach you definitely after you do your snorkel have to do a photo shoot here as we're about to show you that we did Pause the photo shoot for just a second. Yeah, you see that spot right behind Justine as we're doing this photo shoot? That's a beautiful rock to just go sit on and allow the waves to crash over you. You have to sit there and take a photo. Now back to the photo shoot with my beautiful wife Justine.